Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. The day started off with mostly clear skies, but as we got into the later afternoon hours, we're starting to see some of those high clouds moving in from the west. And again, we're going to continue to see those clouds move in from the west as we go through the overnight hours as well. But it did add towards a nice sunset. Dennis King took this photo, again, allowing for some of those shades of yellow and orange to appear as sunlight got through some of those breaks in those upper level clouds, really lit up the thing. And again, made up for a nice moon set as well, or moon rise rather. Again, as we started to see the full moon begin to come up over the horizon, again, allowing it to peak between some of those high clouds. Again, made up for a nice photo. So thanks, Dennis, for sending in those photos. Always great to get some of those photos of what you're seeing out there across the Concho Valley. Temperatures right now in downtown San Angelo in the upper 40s, 49 degrees, still really dry out there. Two points in the single digits with those southerly winds at seven miles per hour. Again, we're going to hang on to those southerly winds going through tomorrow. That's what's going to warm us up just a tad bit more. 50s and 40s for much of the area. 52 in Coleman, 51 in Brady, 48 here in San Angelo, 49 in El Dorado, a couple of 50s out towards Ozona and Sonora. So again, cooling things off as we go through the next couple of hours. We're going to be dropping a few more degrees. Overnight lows dropping into the low 40s. We'll see those winds begin to pick up just a tad bit tonight. Again, temperatures or winds getting up to 25 miles per hour at times. Still hanging on to those partly cloudy skies. And then going into tomorrow as well, still see some of those high clouds moving through the area. It's not going to be keeping us much cooler. Temperatures staying into the mid to upper 70s. Some spots could even get close to the low 80s. And we're going to see those breezy conditions continue with winds picking up to 30 miles per hour out of the west. Again, we'll start to see a slight cool down for us on Wednesday as that cold front comes through, really making its impacts known on Thursday. And then as we finish out the week, we'll start to see temperatures slowly rebounding back into the 50s. So watching an eye out for that cold air starts as that Canadian air mass starts to work its way down to the south and again moves into our area by Thursday. Again, that's going to really drop those temperatures as we get into your Thursday and even into Friday as well. And then what that does is that's going to increase the cold temperatures. And then we're going to see that moisture move in towards our area, and that's going to increase those chances for snow. So again, Wednesday evening, that cold front pushes through the area. Most of the moisture is going to be off towards the east. Then we see the colder temperatures linger here in the Concho Valley. And then as that next swath of moisture moves in from the west into the cold air, that's going to allow us to see the snow band set up. And again, it's not going to see any significant impacts or any great accumulation, but we could still see some of those early morning snow showers again as you're starting off your Thursday. That's when we're really going to start to see that moisture begin to move its way in towards our area. Right now, it looks like it's going to be setting up in the southern parts of the Concho Valley. Again, during the early morning hours, as we get into the afternoon, we'll start to see temperatures begin to warm up. We'll start to transition to more of a snow rain mix. Not expecting any accumulation for much of the area. Again, as temperatures are barely going to be just below freezing. And then we'll clear things out going into Thursday. And that's going to clear out for the weekend as well. So breezy and warm for us on Tuesday. We'll get a slight cool down as that front starts to make its arrival on Wednesday. The coldest air is here on place on Thursday. That's when we see that 20% chance for some slippery conditions, those wintry mix. Then we'll see temperatures warming back up into the 50s heading into the weekend.